It's, it's downheartening for the 700,000 children who live with an alcoholic parent in this country. Um, and the point is there's very good evidence from Canada that this works. Um, what I would urge my Cabinet colleagues to do is not to ditch this policy, but to consider introducing a sunset clause so we can see after three years whether it's had the impact that the, the entire medical profession feels that it will have. And this is about saving lives because if you just increase a tax, all that does is drive more people away from pubs, um, increases the gulf because supermarkets would continue to discount and it won't help those people who we know when they're starting to run into problems with their drinking start buying cheaper and cheaper alcohol. Well I think that myself and other colleagues who are very passionately committed to this uh, as a, a means of trying to reduce harm and improve the health and well-being of the nation are going to carry on pressing for this. We know that the Prime Minister is actually personally quite committed to this uh, policy so I think we just need to continue to press on the campaign to see if we can ensure that the rumours aren't true.